Magic Plan lets you define affected areas? Let's talk more about that. Hey everybody, Ben with Magic Plan here. Have you ever been on site at a project and thought, man, I wish Magic Plan could help me document affected areas? Maybe it's water damage, maybe it's mold, maybe it's fire damage. Well, we can do that. And I wanted to show you today how easy it is to go into your floor plan and add an affected area. So we're gonna pretend like there's some water damage here, maybe some water damage here on the wall. So I've added one on the floor here already so that you can see what this looks like when you're done, right? So let's go ahead and click into that and take a look at the info tab. So you see, it gives me an area calculation based on the dimensions. So you'll see my dimensions right there. So about two foot, nine inches by three foot, five inches. So we have about nine and a half square feet of water damage here. I can go in here, quickly snap a photo of the water damage, have my timestamp included with that. And I can do a couple other things as well. So we have little tape with numbers on it. I can go in here and adjust the name to exactly what I want in my project. I can adjust the color, right? We're saying this is water damage, so I made it blue. Use whatever color coding system that you'd like to do. Now, let's say I wanted to add one from scratch right here on the wall, right? So I will go into the elevation view for this wall just by double tapping on it. And you'll see this little area up here on the side that says affected areas. I'm gonna click add new area. It's gonna select this entire wall. All I have to do is drag and adjust for what the actual affected area is. So I'm just gonna say it's this area beneath the TV, right? So I've adjusted it, made it look like the TV area here beneath. I'll click done. And maybe I want a different color coding system for this. Maybe this is the source of the water damage. Maybe there's a burst pipe behind this wall, right? I'm gonna make this red. And I will call this wall water damage. And what's our color, our number system here? Okay, number one. Cool. And just like that, I've been able to add a new affected area. Let me just go ahead and capture my photo for this. Save that photo. Just like that, I've captured two affected areas. Now let's take it a step further. Let's say I actually wanted to take a measurement. I have my Tramex meter here. I have an ME5. This is the analog version. I'm going to go ahead and add this meter here where the water damage is, orient it based on how I'm standing. I'll use our Bluetooth feature for the Tramex meters, make sure I'm on the right setting. And I'm just going to pick up that reading right there. So why did I show you this? I think it's really important to show that not only can you capture the affected areas, but you can go ahead and start doing your moisture readings or whatever type of readings you're doing while you're on site with Magic Plan. Now let's hop over to the studio and talk a little bit more about why that's important. Before we move on, did you know that the data you just captured can instantly become a detailed PDF report? Highlight what matters most and share it with everyone that matters. Export the PDF report your way right now. Now let's jump back into the studio. As you can see, Affected Areas is a really, really powerful tool in Magic Plan. Creating a sketch is important, but doing a full on-site assessment is even more powerful. So drop us a like and subscribe to our channel and leave me a comment below. Let me know, how are you going to use Affected Areas in your business? Until then, have a great day.